Hi guys, welcome to another South Bay 1943. First of all, we're in the COVID-19 situation. I hope you are all well, all safe, and are protecting the NHS and saving lives. Um, sorry for not publishing a video for about two, three months. Um, with work commitments, um, family life, and not having time for the railway all the time. At the end of the day, it is my hobby. I don't do model railways and YouTube as a as a job, so videos will come on my channel when I find that I've done enough progress or I've got something to review or things like that. So I will apologise for being a bit quiet on my YouTube channel. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about bus wires. Now, if you're a DCC user like I am, and I have been for years, you will know that bus wires can come in different forms. Sorry about my camera work. Um, the way I first started out is I used to get chalk blocks and I will put a picture on here to show you what a chalk block looks like. So as you can see, you can see what a chalk, chalk block look, look, looks like. Now what I used to do is I used to get them, you used to, I used to get them like in groups of 10 and 12. And what I used to do is I used to chop them into two bits, into twos, and then you get one end of your bus wire into one side and then into the other side and then your track feeds would go off like that. Then I saw a video a good few years ago on Richard Everard Junction's uh, channel for these blue crimps and spade splices. And then what he would do, or I used to do, is I will show you now. You'd put the crimp over. Lock the blue crimp onto your bus wire like that. And obviously if you're a DCC user, then you know where this is going. You'd have one wire going to your control panel. And you'd have another wire, or the other wires, which would be your track feeds, going off. So that one there would go to your DTC power supply. And this one here, you'd get your spade splices, plop them in for your track feeds. And that is how I started off this model railway. And if I show you, it becomes a massive tangle of a bird's nest. Wires completely everywhere. You've got all of these coming out everywhere. Now, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I've watched a lot of people on YouTube. And one channel that I do watch a lot is Charlie at Chadwick. Now, he showed, showed a video on these. You get them in packs of five or ten from Amazon. Now, I've ordered three packs of these so far. And I will say they're absolutely excellent. Not only do you get these, <clears throat> you get, say, like a pack of five of these. You get five of each of the black and red. Which, all you do is drop them in. To the top like that and it's brilliant you're good to go but another thing that charlie did and that i've also adapted is instead of having a whole row of 10 which will take the whole lot i cut them in half so what i literally do is literally count to five i cut them straight in the middle there then with me Dremel with a sanding disc, metal sanding disc, sanded it down so 
as you can see, they don't actually meet. And what you do is, whichever way you do things, guys, or whether you put your red to your left or black to your left, just plop them in there. And then you have your track feeds coming out of the individual screws. <clears throat> now, with this system, you can only put one wire per spade connector or two or three. Whereas with these, you can put about two or three in each block. If you do your maths, you can get 15 on the black or even maybe 20 on the black and 20 on the red. Now, <coughs> as you saw, you saw the bird's nest under my, oh, under the main part of my railway. Now, we are now going under my new system. And as you can see, I have a chop block. These new chop blocks already in. Now you get a plastic sheath that goes over the top and then labeled one, two, 10. Now what I've done is I've used the left side as a black and the red side on the right hand side. Now the beauty about these also is as you can see, there's my bus wire. You got the blue going in to the red, the brown going in to the black. And if you carefully, it goes down here through your support bar and then it runs brown into this side, brown out of this side to run to the next one, blue into here from that one, from that one, and then blue to the next one. And as you can see, what a neater situation now i'm not telling you guys to go out and buy these everyone has their way to doing things and everyone likes their way to doing things but to me you get a pack of five of these a tenner from amazon and if you're an amazon prime subscriber you get them the next day now i ordered them and i was you know 50-50. Were they going to work? Were they not? Well, guys, speaks for yourself. Not only can you use them for your bus wires, you can use them for your accessories, lighting, probably even frog wiring. So there you go, guys. They are the new version of my DCC connections. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Sorry about the shaky video. As you all know, I always use my mobile phone. If you did like the video, click the link below. I'll leave the description of Richard Everard Junction's video of how he does his wiring below. And I'll also leave a link to Charlie's video of how I, how I found these. Check them out, guys. Have a look at mine. See what you think. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.